All right, is um, while we're waiting for the other persons to come, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Yes, does anybody have anything, any question, comments, concerns, anything you want to show me, or you can use the time for that? I'm sure you saw my emails from Canvas, emails I sent via Canvas. I think you were supposed to have written an introduction for me to look at today. Does anybody yes, have sir. their info? Yeah, can you, if you have your introduction, you can go ahead and share a screen. Sir, I'm not yet home, so share it now. Okay. Um, anybody has their introduction and wants to share until um, others get here? Sure, sir. I would love to share. Okay, go ahead. Now go up for me. Scroll the way up for me. Okay. All right, benefits of whistleblowing. What are the benefits of whistleblowing in, in public sector organizations? So I need to see the full introduction. I'm not seeing the full introduction. Okay. It's too long. That's the first thing. This is a very long introduction. Okay. All right, just listen, please. And don't unmute, just listen for now. It's too long. And it's the introduction is a little bit disjointed. You seem to be all over the place. So you, def you start out with a definition, then this is a, this, this process has several benefits to the public. Then too often individuals of these organizations, I don't know which organizations you're talking about. Um, we see doing us help customers, which custom, how will cost of, so you move from public organization to customers, then they move to the level of corruption, then they've gone into history. It's too much. Introduction is very disjointed. Um, what's the source of the definition of, of WISA um, in your opening? Go well, again, sir. I didn't hear where the internet went. What's the source for the definition of whistleblowing? Oh, okay. I'm going to have to add that. Yeah, but you can't be writing things that you get offline and you don't put in, put in the sources. That's what that is what is called um, plagiarism. And you should not have more than one source in your introduction, only one source. Okay, sir. Even the sentence that comes after the, the citation of Benjamin Franklin is there's no connection between the sentence that come after and that citation. So the introduction is very disjointed. All right. So it needs okay. a lot of work. All right. Stop sharing screen for me. Thanks. Okay. So let me go through the list now. Um, Delia Walker, uh, you and or your group, may I see your introduction?
Okay. Let me just say Dale Walker going once. You and or your group members, please. Let me look at your introduction. I was not at class last, the last class. Are you not working with somebody for your introduction? For your, for your, for this part of the course? Uh, Deidre and Brown, go ahead for me, you and all your group members. Okay, sir, call me. Can somebody just share their introduction, please? Sir, good afternoon. Can you just share it, please? Thank you. All right, I go to the top of the page for me. All right, um, the lead for me, answer and thesis, everything related to answer and thesis. Thank you. Um, scroll up. Where's the? All right. Uh, uh, so. All right. Delete the risk. Delete question for me. Delete question for me. The, everything related to question that is. Backspace, yes, thanks. All right. Is the entire first line, uh, the, the entire opening a direct quote or is it paraphrase? Um, Tevon and- Paraphrased, sir. Paraphrased. So remove the full stop at processing. And this G2, what's G2? I don't understand G2. Is that, um, is that an author? Is it an organization? I'm not sure what that is. It's an organization. Can I, all right, let me look at your reference list for this source. Go to your reference list for me. Let me see this source. If you say it's an organization. Where is it on your reference list? Where is that source on your reference list? G2. I don't see any G2 on this thing. So where did you get G2 from? You have to put your sources on this, please, because I need to check the credibility of your sources. They have to be on your reference. This is why I taught you how to do the reference list because I don't know what G2 is. I don't know if it's a person. I don't know if it's a, I don't know what, I, I don't know what it is. Anyhow, go back to your introduction. But the background sentences are not speaking to the benefits of implementing uh, the benefits. It doesn't give me some context about the benefits of implementing um, lending software. I, I don't get that. So there's a definition that starts, right? Then, so let's say that's the opening. So the entire two sentences are used as the opening. Then the other sentence, there's only one background sentence. It says, with the switch from manual to computerized loan processing, this has made a great impact on the financial sector. There should have been a full stop. There are different types of loan, of lending software to choose from. So businesses should take into, that's a recommendation. How are you rec making recommendations in your introduction? I don't understand. When you say so, businesses should take into consideration. That's a recommendation. Your introduction is not supposed to be making recommendations. It's it is supposed to be providing context. So the background is um, the background sentences are very weak with being automated from start to finish. 
So what I would do, you don't, you're in, you don't have to, you, the thesis in the introduction doesn't have to end, are some of the benefits of implementing lending software. The sentence before can speak to something about benefits, right? So the sentence before can speak to something about benefits. And then you can say, these benefits include, and you write the rest of your thesis. So the sentence before the thesis can be, and this is why the background has to be something about benefits are speaking to the whole, the, 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 the way how lending software is being used or something like that. Then the sentence before the thesis says, um, in addition to these benefits or something like that, um, it is for this reason, um, the financial sector, has or is using something something and then they said these benefits include all right i think you're dev i think your opening is too long too i think it could have been better paraphrase and i i don't like this source it says g2 i don't know what is g2 i don't know if it's a person an organization it's not properly referenced for me to look at it to see if it's a blog or what is it all right i don't know what type of source is that the background sentences need to change so nothing is wrong with starting with a definition, although you could have started with a statement of fact. For example, over 50% of um, banks in North America use lending or have implemented lending software. Then it's, the next sentence could have been lending software, also known as the automates and manages it. You could have started that way instead of this way. So you could have started out with like statistics or a statement of fact, then, you, then after that, no, then you get into a definition and then you get into something else and then you get to the thesis. All right, so I would, I would, I suggest you restructure your introduction. All right, any questions? All right, scroll down for me. Let me just help you to structure the paper. Scroll down for me because no, I, I, I'm trying to get topic sentence. All right, so is, is, re, pause for me, reducing, go back, I said pause, not move. Go back down. Jesus. Go back down for me, sir. Scroll back down for me. Right. So reducing calculation errors is is that the first? Is that number one? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Could you put number one there for me, please? No, hold on. Before you do that, go back up for me and delete the topic sentences. The one above that. So delete these one to three. Delete them for me. In addition to the word topic sentence. I never said your introduction, sir. So put your cursor at, at T and delete all of that. Not that, not that, just up to number three up there, delete. Yes, go back up now, let me see what, what is happening. All right, so backspace, backspace, back. Yes, put number one, put your cursor at R now and, put, and see if it put number one space. How oh, does it not? All right, go press delete for me. Go back, just press delete. Delete, all right, press number one, full stop, and press tab. What does it do? It takes you down on the bottom of the page. I think yeah. you should just put the cursor at R and then use the bullets. No, the, bu the bullets might, the bullets is going to number, probably it's going to, all right. Try that, but it might number, it might number A, B, and C as one, but let's see oh. if it, if, oh, it doesn't? No, but it, it, what should really happen is that the, so where's number, two, where's the second topic sentence? We have it on another document, sir. It just needs to be restructured. Right, so everything must be on the same document. Topic sentence with the supporting ideas, then the second topic sentence with the supporting ideas, and the third topic sentence with the supporting ideas. I'm gonna teach you how to write a conclusion today, so then you'd have the conclusion, and then you have your reference list, and that's your first draft of your outline. Okay. All right? Sir, you told us to do a conclusion as well. It's at the bottom of the page. Could you look at it? I taught you how to do a conclusion? Yes, you went through it on Tuesday. Okay, okay, all right, so take off all of that untidy information for me. Yes, take off all of that madness for me, please, thank you. 
You can't have rough work on this paper. You have to have rough work on a separate paper. Remove the word conclusion for me. Remove that word. Yes. And bring the conclusion up. Right. So what, put the cursor at T for me. Put the cursor at T. All right. Double space your conclusion for me. Sir, um, I, it doesn't allow me to do it on this um, online thing. I have to do it somewhere down here. But it was just double space. I'm not sure why. All right, let it stay if you say it can't do that. All right, so let me look at your conclusion. It automates the lending process, which helps to decrease errors, which was one of the major issues when loans were being processed manually. Um, I don't know why you have that. All right, this conclusion kind of needs some work. I, 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 it, because even the second sentence almost sounds exactly like what is in your introduction. All right, the second son sentence sounds almost automatically, um, almost identical to the one in the introduction. So it needs some additional work. We're going to look back at the, intro the conclusions I gave you today and help you to kind of restructure this. I did something with the students yesterday that I didn't do with you, but I, I found that it worked for them. They kind of understood exactly how to write it. So I'm going to do that with you guys today. All right, so at least, where's your reference list now? Right, so the reference list must be on a separate page. Right, at least, well, at least they have some version of it. So I need for you, but before the end of the class, I need the second. Did you guys flesh out the other ideas in terms of the second topic sentence with the supporting evidence, the third topic sentence with the supporting yes, evidence? Did you do that? Yes, sir, but as you said, it's on the next document, so. All right, so before the class ends, I need for it to everything to be on the same document, okay? All right, sir. Okay, thank you so very much, guys. And and don't um, be very, um, you're doing good work. I might sound miserable, but you're doing good work, okay? It's just sometimes I, I can't help myself the way I sound. All right, so thanks for that, Tevon and group members. Let me go back to now, Dejan Brown, go ahead for me. You have had more than enough time to get your house in order. Sir, my laptop isn't allowing me to share, so Leroy is going to share for us. All right, go ahead, Leroy. Sir, just a minute, please. Leroy, you're telling me to give you a minute when I gave you almost um half an hour a while ago? Um, sir, I just reached home, sir, and I'm trying to access that. Who else is in the group? Who else works with you people? Only you and Adrian? Who's the third person? I Where's think Cheryl. Where's Cheryl? Is Cheryl here? Yes, sir. She's she. I'm seeing her. Seeing her on the list. Right. So, she, why can't Cheryl share? Where's Cheryl? Who sh is it? Cheryl. Uh, yes, sir. Can Cheryl can't share? Sh no, sir. You're not home. No, sir. Okay. All right. Cheryl can share. All right. Leroy, get your house in order. You will have to be the one to share today because both um persons are not able to share. While Leroy is getting himself in order, um, Felicia Watson, ready to share? Sir, I'm not at home. I'm still at work and I do have it and I'm using my phone. Um, who's going to share? Sir, I'm the only one here now. Give me one sec.
Leroy? Yes? I'm trying to send you a message. Okay, I'm not seeing it though. For ways in manufacturing companies, change the is to R. Ways in manufacturing companies are being questioned. And change the off to in. Change the what? The opt in. Felicia, your mic. Students, give me one sec. Okay, I'm on a call, a uh, work related call. Yeah, hello. Um, yes. All right. Uh, 
So the second sentence is a sweeping generalization. You said this demonstrates that manufacturing companies lack training. So you're saying all manufacturing companies lack training skills. You have to be careful. All right, understanding of the machines and implementing safeguards within surroundings. So there's a, there's a, there's the, the, the background sentences are flawed in terms of the analysis. So I, so the way you have analyzed the study is, is, is flawed. That's what I should say. So you have the opening, but the analysis is flawed. What you should have done is to link the critical injuries and fatalities to the broader discussion about workplace safety instead of saying that manufacturing companies lack training skills because one um, understanding the, the machines and implementing safeguards all of that would have to be just about poland because the study was done in poland but when you speak about it in very broad and general terms you're saying that this is the case in all instances so that is the problem with the way the analysis was done of the opening all right i see where you're trying to make um to to speak to the narrow topic and then link the narrow topic or make uh, or let there be a segue into the thesis but it's a little bit flawed and i also said to you that you cannot use personal pronouns such as we us our and i'm seeing the word we in your introduction and reasons why you don't say reasons and why because they mean the same thing all right so i see there is some attempt at writing a very good introduction but the analysis is weak um so i recommend that you revisit your especially your background sentences okay so do you mean um to be a bit more specific rather than saying manufacturing companies I, I actually just said a lot of things. Back to Poland specifically. I am saying your paper is not about Poland. You said reasons for workplace safety in manufacturing companies. It means that your context is global. You never said in Poland. You never said in any specific area. However, you started your introduction by citing a study that was done in Poland. Nothing is wrong with that. What I'm saying, your second sentence, which is an analysis of the study, cannot be so broad because you said this study demonstrates that manufacturing companies lack training skills. Where are these money? Are you saying that the manufacturing companies in Poland or are you saying the manufacturing companies around the world lack training skills? So I'm saying the analysis of the opening is flawed. What you should do in the analysis of the opening is to speak about workplace safety in a very general term. So probably you need to say that the study demonstrates, um, the study indicates that there are, um, this study among others indicates some amount of concern or whatever about um, workplace safety that is often ignored by whatever, whatever, whatever. All right, it has to be very broad, but you cannot say this study demonstrates that manufacturing companies lack training skills because the first question is, are you seeing that all manufacturing companies lack training skills? And is it that training skills are relevant to workplace safety? All right, so you need to revisit your background sentences, okay? Okay? Okay, sir. All right, thank you very much. Sir, can you look at the conclusion, please? Go ahead, let me see the conclusion. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm seeing evidence. Could you remove that word for me, please? Is that the first topic sentence? Yes, sir. All right, hold on. Go up for me, please. All right, so put your cursor at T for me. Right there. Um, copy up to number three. Delete. All right, so that's so that's one. Can you backspace? Just press back for me. Just press delete for me. Delete. Just press delete. Oh, Jesus Christ. Put your cursor at preventing and press delete for me. 
I'm not sure why the P is missing. I just want you to go back. I don't want you to delete any word or any letter. In other words, I want your topic sentence to be left of margin of the page. That's what I want. I press backspace and that's what it keeps doing. No, because you press something else on the computer. All right, let it stay. Let it stay. Sir, we'll fix it. Yes, yeah, scroll down for me. To ABC. Yeah, give me a sec. All right, so of course two is incomplete. Scroll, scroll down for me. And three is incomplete. All right. To summarize. Let me just... Having a safer industry. I don't know where that sentence come from. How is the last sentence different from the first sentence of the, of the conclusion? How is the last sentence different from the first sentence of the conclusion? Sir, I guess for the second for the second to last sentence, it is speaking mainly about the workplace, and then the last one is speaking about the workers. I never said the second to last. I said, how is the last sentence different from the first sentence? Oh, that's not easy. Right. How is the last sentence in your oh, conclusion yes, yes. different from the you know, sir. right? It's the same sentence, just being yes. said in a different way. Yes. Yes, I see it. All right, so make that, but as I said before, I'm going to show you, I did something with, the, um, with them yesterday relating to the conclusion, how to write the conclusion. And they were, you know, I got, uh, I got, you know, they were able to kind of understand how the structure of a conclusion. So I'm going to do it today as well. All right, thanks Leroy and your group members. And as I said before, I sound very tough and probably a little bit um, aggressive today, not because you have not done very good work, but it's just my, for some strange reason, I'm trying to calm down because when I don't get enough sleep, I guess I'm, I don't sound the way I should sound. All right. So don't take it personal, guys. I'm, I, I'm trying to, let me see if I can calm myself down. All right. Um, but good work. I, I see that you guys are thinking even in the introduction, even though that there are areas of concern. The, the fact is that one thing I'm appreciating, though, based on what I've seen so far, all of them sound academic. And that's what I was really worried about. And I see that you're writing actual academic papers. It's just that, no, you have to ensure to work on cohesion and coherence, all right? To ensure that there is a cohesion and coherence. I never, ever know the difference between the two. Can't remember the difference between the two. All right, so thanks for that, Leroy and group members. Let's continue. Um, on my list, Kanaya Anderson, you are, or your group members, I think you said that you're on your way home, so I would not, no, it's not Kanaya who said that. Oh no, that was Samantha who said she was on her way home. So Kanaya and or your group members, can you share screen please? Let's see what you have so far. All right, so let the record show that I call Kanaya's name and I'm sure she's working with other people and there is no response. Uh, sorry about that. All right, 
Oh, we'll start with the All right, just share, just share. I can do the reading. You don't have to talk. And, I, and I'll make comments, and you can probably take notes, you and your group members, and make certain adjustments, all right? So share back screen. Somebody was sharing a while ago. Let me try this thing, my student. It's coming up. All right, go to the top. Let me see what's happening. Go to the top. Introduction looks too long. I oh, hope that's not the introduction. Go to the top. I'm still not seeing the top of the paper. Don't comment. Can I do it? Don't comment. Just scroll to the top. I can read. All right, how to manage burnout. Okay, sir. Go to the go to the top of the paper and just allow me. I'll tell you when to move to shift or whatever. I'm not seeing the top of the paper. Kanaya, can you scroll to the top of the paper, please? I'm not seeing the top of the paper. Sir, the top of the paper. You're, you're, so what am so I supposed I'm to read? I'm not seeing it. I am not I seeing am anything not. to read. You just, you just, where is the introduction? All right. Where so what, all right. So listen to me now. This is all. Go back to the top of the paper because you didn't structure it properly. Go back to the top. Go back to the top of the paper. I said to the top of the paper. The top of the Sarah, paper. I'm at the top right that's here. not the top because I'm looking at your cursor. That's not the top of the paper. You just reach the top of the paper. I'm supposed to see the broad topic. That's the top of the paper. It's Christ. Mm -hmm. That's page two. What about the page before? What is on the page before? Right. Sarah, that's the top no of the paper. Page. Right. This is the top okay. of the paper. Please remove question and answer for me. And thesis. Remove question, answer, and thesis for me. And topic sentences as well. Scroll, go all the way down to topic sentences. Scroll to number three. Go down to number three. All right, press delete for me. All right. Delete now the broad topic, narrow topic there for me. And press back. Back, 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 back until the introduction is near, is under the broad, the narrow topic. Right. All right. Scroll down for me before I even start reading anything. Let's structure the paper. All right, that's A. Scroll down, scroll down. That's two. All right, where's the reference list? Oh, this should be removed. Just remember the references should be on a page by itself, okay? Yes, sir. All right, everybody notice how I told her how to restructure paper. Please ensure that's what you're, so you're supposed to have a broad topic. You can put your narrow topic or you can put the research question under that. Then you have your introduction. Then you have your topic sentence one, A, B, C, topic sentence two, A, B, C, or A, B, C, D, topic sentence three, A, B, C, D, conclusion, then reference list. That's the structure of the outline. I go back to the top of the page now. Let me look at the introduction. Go all the way to the top. Mm -hmm. All right, how to manage burnout. All right. All right, can I see the introduction in, in full? Okay. Mm -hmm. What is USA? I don't know what US is. Can you spell it out for me? It's United really States like of America. Yes, and then you put USA in brackets. Yes,
All right. So the, 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 the entire introduction needs to be rewritten. I would, um, because you're looking at burnout, right? How burnout yes, affects sir. the security forces yes. in the USA. I would have probably started out with the statistics about the number of yes, um, security members, security force members who are affected by burnout. That's probably how I would start it out. Then the second sentence would be an analysis of that, of that statistical information or statement of fact. Then the other sentence would, two sentences would give background to the narrow topic, which is the notion of burnout and all of that. This that you're mentioning, so you say also the Jamie journal, first of all, you don't cite the journal, you cite an author. You don't cite the journal itself, you cite an author. Um, so you can't cite a journal. Somebody wrote, somebody writes in a journal. You don't cite the journal itself. The journal didn't write the article. That's usually how journals are, are so that's usually how it goes. And I didn't get a sense that the, for the background, I didn't get a sense that the paper was kind of, I didn't get a context of burnout in the United States. I didn't get a context and that's the purpose of the background sentences. I didn't like, I don't like the start either. I, th I think a paper like this should not start that way. Okay, sir. You probably can start out using some Wait, statistics. Can start out using some statistics, analyze the statistics, then you then the other sentence could be a definition of burnout. And then say, for example, um, because of the severe, whatever, whatever, um, many um, people are concerned about the how burnout might affect, or the ways in which burnout affects members of the security forces. And you say, these, um, um, and it's for this reason they need uh, burnout needs to be managed among them or something like that. And um, ways to manage burnout among the security forces in USA include increasing access to healthcare, encouraging time off, and enrolling a health and enrolling in healthy lifestyle practices. Something like that. Yes, sir. All right. So so it needs some restructuring. I see there's an attempt, but it needs some restructuring. Okay. Yes, sir. I can look at the conclusion from it, please. Yes, Sometimes. I will. Yeah, man. Go ahead. Just scroll down. Yeah. All right. Press enter. Yes. All right. The problem in your conclusion, no, you have started looking at, yes, you said that you're looking at um, burnout among the security forces, right? But here, what your conclusion is talking yes, about sir. individuals. But that's not what the paper is about. The paper was about security forces, security right? Forces. Right. And it doesn't even mention the USA. Not even one time the, 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 the name of the country. The context is mentioned in a conclusion. So you're not concluding that paper. This conclusion does not reflect the paper. All right. Do you see, you see what I'm talking? Yes, sir. It's being in general. Right. It's very general. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And not specific to the paper. Yes. Right. Right. All right. So make those fixes for me. Yes, sir. I will All do. All right. Thank you very much. Can I add numbers? Uh, Kimani Grant, go ahead. Kimani Grant and our group members, you know, when I call your name, it doesn't mean that is you exactly who's sharing. It just means either you or whoever is appointed in the group to share. Kimani, are you there? Kimani is a part of our group, sir, and we shared. Oh, you shared already? Okay. Yes. Okay, okay. okay. All right. Thanks for that. Um, who is next? Oh, this is not what I want. I want... Uh, Leave our shirt already. Marisa Bailey, you just spoke, right? Yes, sir. Tavon right. was sharing and we were discussing the paper. Right. So, um, Rasidia Smith, I think your group shared already. Rasidia Smith, did your group share already? Not sure she's hearing me. I think her group shared already because I'm unsure I saw her, her name on the screen earlier. 
runner. Sir, runner. Sorry about that. Rashida is a part of my group. Okay, 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 good. Yeah, All right. Yeah. Rohana Earl, go ahead for me. All right, so let's see what's coming up. All right, so remove thesis for me. The entire line relating to thesis. No, right there, right, thank you. Right. Put your entire introduction left of margin. I don't know why it's not left of margin. I mean, you're actually, your actual written introduction should be left of margin. I'm not sure why. Sir, I can do it afterwards. I'm not really familiar with Google Docs. Okay, all right. Yeah. Did I not tell you that I don't like this start? Why am I still seeing this start? So you said this start was okay. No, I never tell you that. I'm certain of it. I never tell you that this was a good start. And you cannot cite the magazine. Who wrote the article in the magazine? And this is a 2006 article. What did I say about um, when you're citing sources? No later than 10 years. Right. So this is 2006. We cannot use words like plaguing. Exacerbate. You can't use the word faggot in a. What is wrong with this girl? You can't use those paper words in, a, in an academic paper. No, you can't do that. This is an academic institution. This is not a street side discussion. All right, so the entire thing needs to be rewritten. And if I'd gotten this as final paper, I would have failed it. Or oh, is just trying to relate to, you know? No, you can't relate to it. You, you can't relate. That's not, you can relate without using those kinds of, of what are called um, prerogatives. Okay, All right. Remember that in a in a in a, in an expository paper, you're not arguing. You are what explaining. You are informing. You are educating. So, certain words that are that are loaded are politically charged. You don't use them in a paper. Okay. Okay. So you sir. use words like if you if you want to say homosexual or or male homosexuals, female homo, you use words. In other words, you euphemize. You, you try not to use those derogatory terms, all right? Okay, sir. All right, thank you very much. Um, let me see your, intro, your conclusion. Let me see your conclusion. Um, it's very short. Sir, so we're um, finished with it. We're okay, well, I, well, I can see that. I can see that it's not finished. Sir, so we're trying to see how best we can... Um, Wrap it up properly. The concluding sentence does the sound bad of the conclusion. The concluding sentence of the con of the conclusion does the sound bad. I think though in the middle needs some fixing. You could have just said there are various um problems. Um, there are various problems faced by members of the LGBT community in Jamaica. Full stop. All right, your, where's your reference list? You have your reference list there? Yes, sir. Can I just glance at it for a sec, please? All right. Hold on. Uh, need some work, but at least you have something. All right, need some work, need some work. And we're going to do this again, revisit it. Um, this is the first topic we're going to revisit in January. All right, thank you very much, Rohana. Who, with whom are you working? Are the other persons contributing to the paper? Yes, sir, Anita and Shinny. Okay. All right. Good. All right. Thanks, Rohana. Um, Tasha Green, go ahead. I see your hand is raised. Why is Tasha can't talk? I. That's uh, Chris. I'm not sure what I mean by it, to have two openings. The opening can be one or two sentences, but I don't know what I mean by it. can't have two openings in an in an introduction you can have two sentences that you're using as your opening but you can't have two openings okay all right um rochelle abraham stewart go ahead you and or your group members okay sir mm -hmm. Are you seeing it, sir? Yes. All right, hold on. 
So remove thesis. Mm -hmm. All right, you can't put et al. How many persons? How many persons um, wrote this this source? Chen. In addition to how many other people? Scroll down. Let. Sir, I was three or four. So you need to write out all the last names, okay? Okay, sir. Yeah. So you don't use et al when it's the first time. When you're when if you're just if you're introducing the reader to it for the first time, you can't use et al because unless it's over seven sources, over not seven sources, over seven authors of one source. But it because you have three, they can write Chen, Clark, and Brown. All right. Okay, sir. Uh, yeah, the problem I have with your introduction, um, first of all, is this an originally written introduction? Or is Sir, it coming from what do you is, mean originally written? Is it all the, coming from Chen et al? No, sir. Only the the first sentence. Okay, good. So here the problem I have now, and it's not a major, major problem. The sent you need a sentence before the thesis that helps us to see that you're now going to look at the roles of renewable energy, right? So a sentence, in other words, a leading sentence that kind of announces or that kind of hints at the thesis. Okay, sir. So we need that before we cite the, the, the piece from Chen? No, no, no. I'm sorry. I said your thesis. Your thesis is the last sentence of your introduction. So I could never be talking about the opening sentence. Sorry, sir. Right. So... You need a sentence that says something like da 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 rules, and then the thesis can then start with these rules or the rules of fossil fuel include um, um will reduce the depend or something like that. So you need a kind of leading sentence. Agreed, sir. This that is what we were discussing, but we thought we had to use the thesis as we had it before. No, you don't have to write it exactly that way. Once you have the three points, you don't have to write it exactly the same way. Okay, sir. All right, so in other words, the sentence before can have the word rules. Okay, sir. All right, all right. And it's not it's not really a bad introduction. I think it's it's a nice little start. Let's see what is happening in the rest of the paper. Mm -hmm. Remove that for me. Topic sentence and the tree. You have you have your subclaims, topic sentence with your subsidiary ideas. Yes, sir. All right, so remove that one then. So remove, remove, yes, remove all of that. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, scroll down. So I'm seeing topic sentence with supporting points. Not really looking at those right now, but scroll down for me. Um, yes, two, three. Yes. We have, um, where's our reference list? All right, so if you bring up the reference list, all right, on a separate page, yes. Yeah. Remove the bold from references for me. All right, remove bold. All right, so if you tweak your introduction and all of that, I think you can send it off to Margaret for her to look at, okay? Okay, sir, can you look at the... Conclusion, yeah, I'm going summary? to look at your conclusion. Your conclusion, so I'm going to make it. Conclusion, sorry. Where is the clincher? Where is the clincher? Where is the clincher? The, that sentence that is some that you remember we said that the clincher now is the sentence that leaves that very um that lasting impression on the reader. So that sentence is missing from the conclusion. Sir, sir, if we have a clincher, then the conclusion would be okay. 
Okay. It's a it's a relatively okay conclusion. Relative notice the operative word relatively okay. Because okay, sir. I'm accepting it as is no, because I have not looked at the evidence that was given, because that would affect what he writes in the conclusion. Okay, sir. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Good work being done. All right. So when I get to you, um, um, I'll share. Okay. Samantha Smith was on her way home. I'm not sure if she's home now or she and or her group members can share. Samantha Smith, let me just check my record to see who she's working with. I'm not home as yet. I'm telling Spanish though. Okay. Uh, who else is working with Samantha Here, Smith? Sir? Santana oh, Davis Santana or Kevon Davis. Bailey? I've not seen Kevon. Um, I think I saw him at one uh, few weeks ago at class. I'm not sure what's happening with him. Sir, I'm Santana still on the road. Still in Spanish town. Samantha Smith is still in Spanish town as well? Going home, yes, sir. And Santana Davis is where? I don't know, sir. Uh, sir, she's on her way home. Okay, all right. It's always good to show me what you have before you... Love to see what you have before. Um, I think Tevon, you have shared already, right? Tevon Jackson, I think you were probably one of the first persons to share, you and your group. Yes, sir, we shared already. Yes, all right. Tanisha Gale and our group members, let's see what you guys have. Tanisha Gale. Just a minute, sir. While she's getting herself together, Tajay Green, uh, you and or your group members, and then Masters, and then Sherry and Bailey. Bartley, sorry. That's the order. All right, so this is Sherry and Bartley. She was ready, ready and waiting for her name to be called. All right, let's remove the word introduction first thing. Uh, where is my where is my broad topic and my narrow topic or my research question on this paper? All right, yes. So I need to see that regulation and compliance rules of compliance regulations within the banking sector in the Caribbean. All right. Remove the full support protocols. Is it a direct quote? No, sir. All right, so remove the page numbers. Once it's not a direct quote, you don't need the page numbers. Sir, I I won't be able to remove it because I had, had actually done it as an in-text citation, so I'd have to just take it out entirely, but I'll make the note. Okay, all right. Um, you know what you can do? You can probably say English speaking Caribbean. Um, you can say in the Caribbean, but what the only thing I'm not seeing is like I'm not seeing anything specific to the Caribbean in the background. I know I, I see the leading sentence that says there are several roles of compliance regulation within the banking sector, and then these rules include I, I that part is that part is okay, and you don't need to say in the Caribbean again in the thesis because it's already in the lead up sentence, so we know it is in the Caribbean. So you can take that part off. But I think the, the, the background, I'm not sure I even like the start. I'm not sure I even like the start. Um, compliance regulations. All right, let me look, look, let me look at something and, and see if I can give you an idea. Okay, sir.
All right, so let's see. Uh, okay. All right, and I'm doing this because you guys have, you are very ambitious. All right, have you looked at that source? You kind of speak to regulations and stuff. Let me see something else. Caribbean type and approval regulations and standard, right? Eastern Caribbean Central Bank. Right, here's a paper that says how compliance regulations are hurting Caribbean banks. Mm. Have you looked at this? Because what I'm not getting in the background is the Caribbean part of it. There's another source. So in other words, you need to Caribbeanize the background. Okay, so, sir. So for, and, and what you can do with the Caribbean as well, you can say Eastern Caribbeans, um, um, like English speaking specify, Caribbean. Specify a region, specify a section of the Caribbean. Sir. Yes, you can do that. Okay. Because what you might find is that different parts in the region have different ways of how they, treat, right, how, they, how they treat compliance regulation. Because even the article I was looking at a while ago said something about how it says how compliance regulations are hurting the Caribbean's indigenous banks. So there's a lot of discussion about it. So just look at it. I'm not saying that you, you should not look at the Caribbean as a whole, because if you can find evidence for that, you can do that. All right, and I, I, I like the direction of the paper in terms of what you're looking at. I think you are taking on something that is quite difficult and so far managing, but just carbonize your background a little bit more, okay? Okay, sir. All right, scroll down for me. Let me see what else is happening in the paper. Sir, the topic sentences are incomplete, but they're in work. All right. And you have a conclusion? Did you draft um, a conclusion? Not yet, sir. Okay. And we right. have a reference list. All right. So try and draft a conclusion before the end of the class so that I can at least give you a heads up about, you know, the strengths and weaknesses, okay? Sure, sir. Thank you. All right. I see. Um, no, you don't have to. The, 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 uh, Mr. Green, you don't have to, because if you say Caribbean, your paper is about the Caribbean, so that's not, you don't need to change anything in the narrative because the paper is about the Caribbean, all right? All right, so who said that she was, she needed a minute? Tanisha Gale, I think you said you needed a minute. I think I gave you more than a minute. Go ahead, let's see what you have. So I'm trying to see to share but i have to save it the document but i'm um, i've been it's still doing so um well, why wouldn't you why wouldn't you have shared it save the document i'm trying are you the only one in the group where where are the other persons only one that can share at the moment sir the others are having issues okay masters go ahead for me you and are your group members um, so I was the first one to share with the introduction, but you didn't look at the conclusion. All right, let me look at your conclusion then. Let's reshare and let me look at your conclusion. So are you seeing it? Yes. It's a relatively okay, but I, I would need to see the rest, the, the supporting evidence um, and the topic sentences. To, do you don't have to show me now. You don't have to show me now. Uh, because now I see as a business community, citizens, consumers, and government. So I'm not sure if those things or those specific groups or categories of, of um, were explored in the paper. So making a statement like that, I would have to look to see if that was actually developed throughout the paper, where there's a section in the paper that talk about um, business community, one, a section that talk about citizens, a section that talk about consumers, a section that speak about government, all right? Because as I said before, the conclusion is a reflection of what was discussed. So this is a tentative start, but I don't know that it's ref if it, it reflects all that was discussed. All right, Ms. Masters? 
Okay, sir. All right. Um, the person who asked for another minute, uh, I think I gave you two a while ago. Are you ready again? Tanisha Gale, are you ready? Shannon Melbourne, go ahead for me, you and all your group members. I'm in group with Tanisha Gale. Could I put it in the WhatsApp group for your share on our behalf? I'm yes. unable to share right now. Yes, you can do that. Sir, are you able to see the screen? Yes. Uh, all right, so she's now, Tanisha Gale is finally sharing with us. What are some of the ways nutrition <laughs> education can reduce obesity? All right, so she's citing from the World Health Organization. It's relatively okay. I think it needs some, just a few little tweaks here and there. It's a, a relatively good start. Um, a few little issues here and there, but it's a relatively good start. Can you scroll down for me? I'm seeing a topic sentence with just supporting evidence. Are you, do you know to scroll down? Yes. So, pay, so go, yes, man, change. Let me see the other page. Mm -hmm. Yes, let me see the other page. You have your conclusion All right here, yes. All right, not a bad conclusion. Need some little fix in here and there, but not a bad conclusion. Thank you, Miss Gale. I guess it was worth to wait. Thank you, sir. All right, um, Chantal Miller. I don't know if I, if you, if your group shared already. I am with Miss Master, sir. All right, good, good, good. Um, Shannon Melbourne. I know I called your name. I don't remember if you had responded. In group with Tanisha Gale. All right. All right. Uh, this is Shanika Thompson. Go ahead. Shanika Thompson, go ahead. So Sherry and Wayne for us. All right. Um, Sasha Gay Smith Lee, go ahead. Um, sir, to be honest, I haven't gotten a chance to correct the introduction and the conclusion that you looked at in last class. Um, with whom are you working? Because it sounds as if you're doing all of the heavy lifting. Because if you uh -huh. don't get the chance, with whom are you working? Is it that you're speaking about the group generally or you are talking about yourself? So the group, Kadian and I, we haven't seen Ricardo in a while. No, this problem is I have not, I, I know I hear the, the, the concern about the recordings. I have not got them either. So I had to email them. Even last night, my students were asking me in the other common class and I had to send, I sent a, ICT an email uh, about the recordings because I'm not seeing the recordings. I don't know if they think that we're not having class or if there's a glitch in the system, but I don't get any other last set of recordings. And it's very unfortunate because those recordings are actually very important. Um, I got a response from one of them to say that I need to identify, if I could identify some, what they call it again, some something in the, but my God, I'm good. I don't know this, the technical language that they're using. But usually it automatically comes like an hour after, after the class, but I have not got any. So I'm going to reach out to them again. All right. So I think he says I, if I should, if I could. I don't know what the hell he's asking me for. All right. Let me forward this one to him and tell him, say, yeah. All right. So I'm going to reach out to them again. It's, it's, not a, it's not an unwillingness on my part to upload the recording. It's a matter that I have not got them. All right. 
because you know I religiously try to upload. All right, anybody else has not shared or needs to share or anybody else? Have I called um, all the names? I don't know that I missed anybody. Sir. Oh, um, no, one more person, Dave Simpson. Yes, sir. Um, can I share for me? I got that up at work. Yes. All right. So I let's. Please, yes. All right. So I think okay. this probably is Dave's. Yeah. Okay. But Dave, you know, do not work on this man. Who are you working with, Dave? I'm. I'm done it, sir. This is and, it. Uh, yeah. The, um, the introduction and the. Yeah, but where are the topic sentences and all of that? Because that's the first thing you should have because that's something that you guys have been working on for quite a while. Uh, I think that is uh, the topic sentence. Patricia at, at class. We have the topic sentence and everything. But I just do the, um, the, the introduction and the conclusion. Okay. So I just and let's make a seat. More Paragraph. Or grab it. Where did you get this introduction from? It sounds very textbookish. And this is not how you write your thesis. You can't say this paper will discuss. I did not teach you how to write a thesis like that, okay? That's not what I taught you. Taught you. you can't say this, you don't announce your thesis. Where did I'm you get this introduction I'm from? I'm the reference I'm from Hayden and Newman 2012. The entire introduction? Pardon. Pardon. Is it the for the so is the entire introduction coming from the source you no, mentioned? Sir. No, sir. Which part belongs to them and which part belongs to you? Um, organizers have been rapidly expand their operation. That's what they said. Yes, sir. So why? But you need to cite it then. This needs to be cited. Okay, sir. But and then you need to analyze it because right. there's no, no analysis. You can't rush to the thesis. But I don't remember approving this thesis. Where's the thesis? Um, so what's the thesis? Because it's not clear here. We want to play its role in facility. Okay. So in other words, the thesis I think is, let me see if I can decipher this thesis. Thesis is romantic relationships in the workplace facilitate favoritism, distort communication, but you have four things, favoritism, distort communication, slower decision-making and lower morale. You can't have four, you're supposed to only have three. Three. How many of you working together? Two or three of you? Three away, sir, three away. Right, so you should only have three. So again, no, you need to fix this as well. You can't okay, have sir. four things in the thesis discussing. You no can problem. if you want to, you know, but I, 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 I recommend no, against I'll, it. I'll stick with the three, sir. Yes, it does discuss three. Does discuss three. You don't need four. Okay. All right, so one person per body paragraph, and everybody works on the introduction, conclusion, and references. Okay? No problem, sir. All right. Any... Oh, oh, sorry. My bad. Sorry, sorry. I, I forgot that. Yes, I can't... Let me just share my screen. Share screen. So, again, you can't announce. Were you not at class? Were you not? It... You were not at class when I taught you how to write the conclusion? Dave, were you at class when I taught you how to write the conclusion? Yes, sir. I was in a note, sir. Right. So you, uh, you can't announce your conclusion. This research attempted to highlight. Mm -mm. Can't write that either. Oh, in summarizing. Okay. Right. So you do things like that. Mm -hmm. You say things okay. like that. No problem. You say again, you said this paper, you're still announcing in the paper. All right. So this, this needs reworking, rewriting, okay? We'll do it, sir. Thanks very much. Yes. Okay. Uh, anybody else? Did I miss anybody? Yes, sir. Yes, go ahead.
All right, so you know I'm going to tell you to remove question, answer, thesis, and topic sentences. Question, answer, thesis, and topic sentences. Question, no, 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 look what you're doing. From question, yes, all the way to number three. I'm not sure why. All the way to number three. Just drag down the thing now. My Jesus. Sir, sir I always say so sometimes. No, but I'm saying, you make it look like it's not rocket science. I'm nervous. <laughs> why are you nervous? You sound like my younger nervous, sister a while ago. <laughs> you sound like my younger sister a while ago. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, so this booty tag, all right, let me, I'm going to be very calm. Now. So put it at oh question. God, sir. Well, all right, hold on, hold on. Just put it at question, at the beginning of question. All right. Right there. Just press and just press to put the cursor there. Yes. Drag. Sir, right. nah, drag. Just, hold on. Hold on. Don't, don't, don't leave. Don't, don't. Just press delete still. Press, press the word delete still. Delete. Yes. All right. So just put it now. Copy the rest of that as well. Up to number three. It will delete. Don't worry about the number. Just copy to number three. It will, it will delete itself. Copy to number three. Delete. Yes. All right. There you go. All right. Yes. All right. So this is the impact of human trafficking in the Caribbean. All right. According to United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime. All right, the problem I have with the introduction is that it's not speaking to the Caribbean. So you have a definition, and I think you, I think because the definition is a little, why, one, two, three, four, uh, uh, how many words? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, nineteen, twenty, 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 twenty-two. I would paraphrase this definition instead of directly quoting, but you can leave it. It should begin with a capital letter, though, right? The human, because it's direct quote, the beginning must always begin in a capital letter. So capital H mm -hmm, is a crime against humanity. Sir, sorry uh, to break your train of thought. Are we mm -hmm. allowed to use acronyms in our paper? Only, only when you, you, you can from once you have given us what the acronyms mean in the first mm -hmm. instance. So in okay. this case, it is okay because I know what UNODC means. It means United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime. But if she had not written that, then she could not have said according to the UNODC because I would not know what UNODC okay. means, okay? okay. Yeah, right. The, the issue I'm having with this introduction, no, some of the impact is, is a negative. So you can't use it. You can't have the word negative in your thesis. That's the first thing. The other thing too is that the background now needs to kind of help us to understand. You know what? I would have how I've started this introduction. I would have started it with. In this case, this is a paper that probably you should use some statistics. Start with statistics, and then you go into the definition. Okay, so sure. over yeah, something like so over. 50 uh, um over 50 percent or over 300 women are trafficked trafficked in the caribbean um between 2020 and 2030. this oh, so, so we can have like um 24.1 million people have been trafficking across no the you would you wouldn't want to go so broad in the world because the paper mm -hmm. is really on the caribbean so mm -hmm. i would start out by just giving some statistical data on the caribbean so over i'm just making this up this is not factual so over um oh, about approximately 300 women are trafficked in the Caribbean um, in the last decade. This demonstrates, this, um, this indicates that traffic, human trafficking is a serious, um, is of serious concern to Caribbean governments or something, something like that. Then I would say, um, according to the United Nations, da, 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 human trafficking is that, 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 you know, something like that. That's how I would have structured it. Okay, instead sir. of the way how you have started it. So you, you need to carbonize your introduction. That's the thing. So when you after the definition, then you don't hear you don't hear anything about the Caribbean. So you want to start by saying to the, the, the if you open with the statistics relating to the Caribbean, then they will know that the paper is about the Caribbean. Yes, sir. Right? Or if you're going to go global, if you say, for example, over five million women are trafficked or people are trafficked um, worldwide um, globally. 
But then you'd have to say, comma, 15% of whom live in the Caribbean. Oh, okay, okay. Something Understood. like that. Yes. So sir. that they, so the so the reader from the get go will say, oh, you know what? I they, they are going to talk about the Caribbean. That's what I mean. Yes, sir. Yes. All right. Let me look at your conclusion. Sir, I didn't finish the conclusion. But let me look at what you have so far. Sir. I already not, have not nothing. Day. All right. Not, not <laughs> Just day. tell me, sir. Not not See, sir. Not not All right. Okay. Not not All right. Cool. 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 All right. Thanks, Kadian and group members. Thanks, and sir. this can be a very interesting paper. Thanks, sir. It can be a really, really interesting paper. So we're gonna make it interesting now while we're in our Yes. Okay, top right back on to results of issues you have. Okay. Is there any person who is working by any 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 two persons are working together? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That is Rashidia and Kenya Anderson and Kanaya. Kenya. All right. So outside of those two persons, is there any other peer working? Sir, only me and Chantel working. Gillian is nowhere to be found. So if you're working with two persons, you only need two body paragraphs, okay? Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Yeah. But, um, sir, I met someone in a group by the name of Ronaldo. He mm -hmm. said that he is new to the class and he was asking if he could join my group, but I don't talk to Chantel about it as yet. Ronaldo, I, that name sounds foreign to me. It sounds foreign. <laughs> he said that he's last man. No, so I don't know. Because I asked him if he's from my communication class and he said that he's logging on now. In my class, I don't remember him. Yes, yes sir, Roger, Ronaldo J. Butler. He's in the class now? He commented in the group. I don't think so. He communicates in the WhatsApp group? No, sir, but you commented. Oh, here's Ronaldo Butler. Let's talk to him. Mr. Butler, go ahead, sir. I, I don't know that I know you. Go ahead, sir. I think I'm calling your name for the first time. Hey, good night, sir. How are you doing? I am good, sir. Talk to me. Yes, so I was in a group for the final. How many aside. lectures have you, how many classes have you been to? Um, around eight. eight oh, you must be, did you do the mid-semester? Yes, I did the mid-semester. All right, if you say that you are here. All right, so you guys can add him to your group. Apparently, Ronaldo has been in the class. I've never heard him speak. I'm not necessarily talking to this guy. That's right. Okay, sir. All right. All right, you guys can add him. Um, right. So I, I, Rasida, I sent either you or your group member a, a message relating to the matter that you brought to my attention. So I've responded. Okay. And let's yes, keep it sir, confidential, I'll right? I'll, right. And let's keep it confidential. Okay. Yes, sir. Right. Um, you. you're welcome. Any other questions or anything? Oh yes, so so you saw that I sent you two emails, right? Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. All right. So I sent you two emails. Apparently, well, one of my colleagues said to me today that a student of mine said that she does not know what is happening in the course. I'm not sure which group she's from, and I said to my colleague, it's it's it would be impossible for someone not to know what is happening in my class because if the person is attending class. They know what is happening. Am I correct? Don't you know what is happening in the class? Yes, yes sir. sir. And yes. If you, know, if you don't know what's happening, you can watch over. And then you have consultation. And we have consult exactly. And we have consultation and all of that. So I said to my colleague that consultation. Right. So I said to the right. And so that's why I said to my colleague, I said, that's clearly somebody who's not at I know, I think I know who it is. Because you have some persons that don't come to class and they try to question everybody in the WhatsApp group. Because Everybody has to make a sacrifice. I'm sure um, Dave, for example, is at work and he's what? At class, right? And I'm sure some of you, you're on the bus. You're, everybody has to make sacrifice in order to attend class. And I know some of you are mothers. You know, some of you are wives. Some of you are concubines. Jesus! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> the way you take it are still facts. <laughs> so the point is that we are all making sacrifice, right? And you have to come to class. And as you realize, how I teach is that everything kind of connects to the previous class. Nothing is really in isolation. So you learn this today in order to learn and what you're going to learn tomorrow, you have to connect the dots, all right? And my thing, as I've always said to my students, I will help students who are, who they, you notice how I do my consultation and I do it after nine, I'm tired, I'm going to sleep, but I still do my consultation because I know it's important for you. I know it's important for you to speak to the lecturer sometimes one-on-one -on -one because you don't want to speak in a crowd. And I also am mindful of the fact that my job is not to fail any student, you know, I'm not into the business of failing. And this is why when I looked at the fact that some persons didn't get a chance to upload their mid-semester and some persons, even persons who are expected to do pretty well on the exam, didn't get a chance to finish. And then from my other group as well, the similar concerns, I said, oh, okay, here is an opportunity for the students to get another a second bite at the apple because for the most part, I'm enjoying teaching both groups. This class and the other class, you guys are doing really well. Even my oral come class, the students are really well. When I hear other lecturers complaining about students not coming to class, I said, my class, my students come to my class. My students actually harass me. <laughs> I don't know what your students do, but my students always send me a note to read this, look at this paper or, and there say, some lecturers said the students are not coming to the class. And I said to them, something is wrong in terms of how you're engaging the students and how you're, you know, building or raising their curiosity and, you know, what they want to learn. And are you making I'm them see? afraid of you. Afraid of me? No, you're yeah. not afraid of me. <laughs> I don't think you guys are afraid of me. Yeah. I think okay. you just... I think I, I think I think what I have done is to make you think about your approach to writing differently. I think that's what I've done. In your headspace, I have caused you to think about writing differently because in high school, the way how your teacher taught you writing, that's not my approach or that's not the approach that we use at this level. It's very different. It's very systematic. Um, and, and you have to be here for the most part. You know, even if somebody explains it to you, if you're not here or if you don't watch the recording, sometimes the translation is lost. Because the way I'm going to explain how to write a conclusion, you know, somebody says, oh, yeah, man, sir, just look on the conclusion. And they tell you that. But you, you're not here, so you can't really speak to the conclusion or you're not able to write the conclusion. So the comment by the student, I could tell that it was somebody who was not attending class because I know everybody who attends class. I know every single person who attends. I might not know your faces, but once I hear the name, notice how I could say to sir that him don't come to class, Ronaldo Butler, and me know Ronaldo Butler, and I probably Christian. 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 Yes? Christian. 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 not come. Yes? Mr. Butler, you're up. Yes. I have it. It wasn't. I you're breaking up so we're not hearing you so if you can type what you're saying in the chat we're not hearing you my point is however though so pay attention to the different i'm not hearing you um because you're breaking up so you can type what you're saying in the chat my point however is just to pay attention to different um graded pieces so for example the badge that's an easy five marks once you once you do the the the, the literacy thing the apa thing on canvas and you send me a badge you get your five marks so you automatically get your five marks for that. Sir, should we email that to you? Because when I click on communication or it states to upload the badge, it doesn't give me the chance to. Yeah, man, you can email, you can email it to me because all I'm going to, I've started actually entering the grades on the grade sheet. Okay. So yeah, you can email it to me. All right then. I know I'm going to ask it for you, <laughs> ask you for it again in January, I'm sure when I'm entering the grades. Sure, 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 sure. Question, sir, sir, question yes. I know it will be open for the two hours, but how long is the exam itself? Same format. It's just a different paper. Same well, questions. Um, one same hour? Qu so, so it will be, so you will get two hours to do a one hour exam. What I suggest you do, don't try to use the two hour to do the paper. What you do, you use the one hour, even one and a half hour to, to write your actual paper. And then you kind of use 15 minutes to kind of go through, to kind of tweak a little thing here, tweak a little thing there. But don't sit and, doing the, and do the paper for two hours. Then you wait. some students are like, they wait until the last minute. Then say, sir, me never upload the paper because this time, and, and they tell you all kinds of cock and bull story. Sorry, no, okay, so we have the two hours to do the exam. Basically. So you have two hours to do the exam. So in oh. other words, you're doing a one hour exam in two hours. 
Even better. Thank you, sir. Yes. So sir, there is more than enough time to, to upload. Yes, go ahead. I think that's what happened to me. I spent the whole time trying to get understand the paper and not make jotting. So by the time I was ready to write, time just mm -hmm. Right. And that's what I also said to persons always. So when I so it's very similar to what I did when I was in sixth form. Language strategies, I just you have a look across, you look at rough work strategies. I'm going to talk about one, two, three. I have it on my little rough paper. I know exactly what I'm going to talk about. And sometimes I have a little look at example. When it comes on to the techniques, I have my three techniques. I know exactly what I'm going to talk about. So you see, once I write my introduction and I write my topic sentence from my first up from my first body paragraph. So the writer uses three main language strategies. I just go to, okay, I'm going to talk about this one first and I talk about it. Then I'm going to talk about the next one. Then I'm going to talk. That's what you need to do. You just jot it down first. Do a little thing. Um, Miss, Miss Santana Davis, don't instruct me about giving you a shorter article, okay? Um, sir, question. Uh, yes. if, you don't get, if you don't get any grade, that means you didn't pass? I Did you do the exam? Yes, sir, I did. And I uploaded it on Canvas before. Um, and you don't see a grade? I don't see a grade and I text you let in the check. WhatsApp group as well. No, let me check because I marked every paper. So it could be that. Um, no, man, but I, this class, I even made some notes just in case. Let me check my notes. Rashidia. Mm. Sir, and my name is Rashidia. Rashidia, my apologies, ma'am. <laughs> my apologies. It's just I'm like so my sorry. students who are from all over the world, I, they, I have to write their names on paper. All right, Rashida. All right, I have notes here. You said you uploaded, right? Yes, sir. Um, let me check my other file to that. I have all my information in mid semester. Would this be this group? Rashida, if you uploaded, then I would have. What are you from? The, yeah, you're from this class because I have. Yeah, yes, Ronaldo Butler did the exam for real here. Is this paper? <laughs> Sir, I told you that I did the exam. I did my best, actually. Yes, I, I have. I, no, man, I have my file that I download, you know, because sometimes when students don't do so well in courses, they come and they ask all kinds of questions. So I take copious notes. I make copious notes just in case a student comes and says something. What's your last name again, Rashidia? Smith, sir. Smith. Smith. All yes, right. So sir. I have Brittany Smith. I have Sasha Gailey Smith. I have Samantha Smith. All right, so if it's not here, that means I would have made notes. So why I'm not seeing it? I would have made notes. All right, let me check on um, the system. Let me just quickly check on the system. All right, Canvas. That must have been an oversight because I, I actually finished marking this class before the other one. Uh, dashboard. Come on, all right. No. Sir, you sent you sent the email regarding the meeting for the end of year exams, right? Yes, I did. Yes, it's yes, when yes. I have a serious clash on because I have PTA with my um younger son. What I will do, I'll ask exam to um to send me the recording and I'll share it. I'll upload it and share it with you. All right, thanks, sir. Yes. Um, where is it? No, why them always a show carry business? I don't know why carry made an error on the system. You know, that's how students I'm still seeing her mid semester. Did I state it as mid semester? What did I name it? That's international business. That's that. Oh, probably because I finished mark. That's why I'm not seeing it. Mm -hmm. I finished mark. That's why I'm not seeing it. No, man, but it should be our grades. All right. Actually, when you click submit, you didn't see the little confetti. Right, yes. I'm wondering. And yes, it did. And the little box beside it um turned green with a tick inside it. Okay. Yeah, yeah I'm wondering how did I I wouldn't have missed your paper. All right, Rashida Smith. So Smith would be here. All right, so our score is not there. So I should be able to click here and see the paper. Would I be able to see the actual paper? Missing. So I am not seeing. All right, that's the grid.
Mute your mic. Somebody's mic is on. Somebody's mic is on, and we're hearing all kind of. We're hearing your business. All right, let me mute the person because they're probably not sure. So, mm, uh, no, it wasn't hers. It was somebody. I I muted the other person. Um. So how am I going to? All right, I I start. Just send me a reminder tomorrow. <laughs> I'm not sure why I'm not finding it on this. Sure, will do. Yeah, but I'm not sure how I would have missed your paper. Oh, all the lecturers are to the side. I look so dumb. And it's under discussion, so let me see. No, but that would be I'm setting a paper. No, no, how did I miss your paper? I'm not seeing your name in my notes, so... And it's not under download. So this is Tevon, Anika, Chantal Miller, Marisha Riley, Lamont, Dave, Sasha Gay, Smith, Samantha Smith, Alia Williams. All the other students I let me just double check my folder one more time. Um these are B's, D's, E, J, M. You know, I, you know what I'm thinking? I'm almost sure you didn't upload that paper. You probably think you uploaded it, but I'm not sure you uploaded the paper. Sir, I uploaded it, sir, and it said, it, it, it said um, submitted, and then the box turned green with a tick inside it. A box turned green. All right, did you, so you actually typed it and uploaded the, the, the Word document? Yes, sir. Yeah, but I, I downloaded the entire folder and I'm not seeing your name because what they do, you know, so, so the folder, what they do once you upload, when I don't look, because I, I submit it before even nine. So I'm wondering if something went wrong because when I downloaded the folder, let me tell you the names that I have in front of me. Because when I download the folder, download the folder, they give me all the students who submitted. So I have Abraham Stewart, Kanaya Anderson, Kevon Bailey, Marisha Bailey. This is Sherian. This is Dadrian. This is Ronaldo. This is Clovin. This is Davita. Earl, Rohana, I have Tanisha Gale, I have, this is Grant, this is Tevon, this is Jadu, Maraj, Masters, Melbourne, Miller, Morris, Nugent, Ramsey, Riley, Simpson, that's Dave, Brittany Smith, Sasha Gay Smith, Samantha Smith, Shanik Thompson, this is Tony and Towson. This is Dahlia Walker. This is Felicia Watson. This is Aaliyah Ali Ali Williams. I'm not sure you uploaded. I'm going to. Ch I'm still going to check. Sir, but... day, sir every, almost every day, I text people ask if if them if them grade post cards. Man, I say, man, even I wonder if it that bad that they ungraded. No, it, I, say, I would have put a grade. No man, I, I say, sir, I tell you, myself, to myself. Me even I say, even if me not have it organized, sir, most can't take off marks the organization. No, but because there are two ways of how I mark the paper. You know, that's I'm saying that I'm not sure you actually you probably probably it you probably clicked and think you upload, but it never did because there are two ways, two things I did. So all the persons who uploaded their paper, if you notice, I marked the papers on the system itself. I marked the thing on the system, but also I did another thing for the persons who did not type and upload a paper. I actually made notes. So in my notebook, I have Tevon, Anika, Chantal Miller, Marisha, um, Dave, Sasha Gay Smith, Samantha Smith, and the last name I have is Alia Williams. So I make I make notes all over. As I said, just in case, you know, students sometimes come back and ask questions about how their paper was graded or so I usually have my little notebook. All right, so just do the re just do the reset. I will I will search, but I'm almost sure that the paper wasn't uploaded. Ten is the pass mark, fifty percent. So ten out of twenty is the pass mark. Are we over time? No, we're not over time. All right, Kanaya Anderson, I see your hand is up. Okay, I think I answered her question. All right, I wanted to sh I want to show you something how the sentence outline will eventually look or should look. 
heard uh, that paper, um, the French fries paper, was it an expository or a persuasive piece? Expository. Okay. But I didn't penalize you if you said persuasive because there, there are parts in it that you could argue. What I looked at was what you use as your evidence to say that it was persuasive. So I didn't penalize anybody for that. Because I saw persons who convincingly argued that it was persuasive and they cited specific um, examples. So I never, I never penalized anybody for saying it was, um, but it was more expository than persuasive. <clears throat> All right, so this is your sentence outline. Uh, I don't like this format. So for your sentence outline, you have your, you should not have your thesis. He made an error. So renewable energy, you have your narrow topic. You have your introduction, topic sentence, supporting evidence, topic sentence, supporting evidence, topic sentence, supporting evidence, conclusion, and your references. This is how it should look. This is turn it in. I, uh, this, is going to, this is going to tell me if you have plagiarized. So this is an example of um, a sentence outline. Go so, back to the top where you say what we're not supposed to have. So you should no, not the thesis. So you have broad topic. You can either have your narrow topic or your research question. Either of the two is accepted. But don't have your thesis because it, because your introduction topic and research question is it? Or not and or oh. or. So let's look at another example. Um, sentence. I I sent this. Didn't you see that I sent this to you? Yes, sir. Right. Because once I send it to the other class, I just copy everybody. All right. So this is another example. And these are students who got A in my course. Um, introduction, topic sentence with, with, with supporting evidence, topic sentence with supporting evidence, topic sentence with supporting evidence, conclusion, references. This is exactly the format for the outline. So once you have properly formatted the outline, then I will look at it, give you feedback. Margaret will look at it, give you feedback. And then the only other thing I'm going to teach you after that relating to the outline is how to write a body paragraph. So you're going to convert the outline into an essay. But we're not there yet. With the same evidence sentences, I call it that so I can remember it. With the yes, same... yes. Okay. So then I'm going to teach you about T, the T structure. Uh, topic sentence. Can you show us that tonight, sir? This, I have heard you mention it when you talk about your, your when you did um, exam in six form a T structure. No, 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 I'm saying the exam I did in, in six form is the discourse analysis. It's it's module one in communication studies. Okay. It's module one in communication studies. So it's a skill that is needed throughout university because what it does is teach you critical, um, it teaches you critical analysis. And it's, it's, we teach it prior to anything else because it helps you know when you're going to have to consult sources. It means that you're going to look at the source and think about like audience and purpose and relevance of the source. If you think the source makes sense, it will help you in terms of integrating the source into your own paper. It's very deliberate why we teach it before we teach anything else. All right, so let me say this. I want to wish everybody, for persons who celebrate Christmas, um, you know, some people don't, so I want to wish everybody a Merry, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. The pleasure was indeed mine to have been your lecturer for the period, and we finish in um, January, so we're not finished. So don't go and get drunk and do all kinds of stuff and, don't, and can't come here January 3. School resumes January 3, please remember that. Um, and then New Year, I know we will all have New Year, New Year resolution. Uh, I usually don't have a resolution. I usually have what I call my uh, milestones. So my milestone is for the next five years, I should have completed my doctorate and be living a very comfortable life in Canada because this is now where I live. Um, Why, Tache, what, why is Tache can't speak? Oh, at least let me, I, I don't think he was talking to me directly. So I wish for you all the best um, for the new year. And I hope you enjoy your family and your friends and your loved ones and all the riches and blessings that life can offer. Be very careful in Jamaica because they're even killing pregnant women now. So nobody seems to be safe. 
um, every day we get up on the news. Uh, when I'm tracking the news, 10, three dead there, so three get shot, this dead, all kinds of stories. So and we know that nowadays, these men no longer try to protect the lives of our women. Women seem to be easy target for them as well. So um, be very, very careful, be very vigilant while you're out, um, you know, enjoying yourselves. Don't go downtown if you if you don't have to, to shop. Mr. Clark. Yes. Um, question. What mm -hmm. would be your um your crime plan for Jamaica since we're talking about that? Could I don't you... have a crime plan. What is wrong with Ronaldo? I don't have a crime plan. No, 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 you see. You know, some think you are Sir Pido, Sir B. <laughs> no, I, I don't have a crime plan. I, I just think that part of the problem with, with crime in Jamaica is because we can, or, or the persons who are supposed to solve crime can be bought. And that's the biggest challenge. All right. If you, if you're following the, the, I think the, it's the, a cultural, um, um, mindset. Well, in part, know. but if you're following the case in with the, the gang from, from Spanish town. Spanish one. Yes. If you're following that, I follow it religiously. And if you read, if you're, if I read the news a lot, like, like TV, not TVJ, but um, Glean and Observer. And if you listen to some of the comments and you see how they are very connected to big top police and dance hall artists and this and, and clergy. that. And, and clergy. And yes, sir, they are very connected. Very. So, yeah, so you realize that's part of the challenge where we can't solve crime. So me and you see something happen, but we're not going to tell nobody because we know, say, yeah, if you go to the inspector, the ins all the next man I go to is just come and get the inspector an envelope with some money in it, and then may end up dead. So, so it's there are too many persons involved in crime, too many tentacles to persons who are supposed. Think about it. I've always said, if we have most of the persons committing uh, like some murders are poor, right? Poor men, especially where these poor men are getting guns from. Guns are not cheap. Guns are not cheap, you know. Guns aren't cheap and bullets aren't cheap. So it means that somebody above sure. them with the means are, give, are providing them with the, the guns and the bullets and the all kinds of no, stuff. Sir, so it's called barter, you know. You know, barter, right? Yeah, barter, yeah. guns for drugs. Yeah. Yeah, guns aye, for aye, drugs. Perfect, yeah, perfect, yeah. Perfect, perfect. Anyways, perfect. I never wanted to end my class talking about Jamaican crime. I wanted to end on a very Christmassy <laughs> note. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Christmas no, and note, sir, you know. disgusting Yes, so it, though Jamaica has its issues, there's there Jamaica is also a very fun place to live. Um when before I came up, I made sure to enjoy my six months there. It was very good. I enjoyed myself. I have my good friends there. Do I have my it? I miss you. I wish I could come back for Christmas, but right now my mother, my mother, um oh, when is my stepfather's funeral? Oh, oh Monday. Pick up in, sir. Are you yes. still required to pay what I don't think about two thousand five? Hundred Canadian dollars for quarantine when a person returns to Canada. No, they they they, they are no longer. Yes, that that's why I traveled. That's the only reason I came up when I did because I was going to give the government my money. So are you are you okay to be fully vaccinated? Um, yeah, you must be fully vaccinated now, ooh. especially now with the new variant. Mm -hmm. Especially now with the new variant, you have to because even today I, I teach in Canada and today we were at school and we got the email. We're going to go online for the first week in January. Just out of concern, um, just, out of, just out of caution, we're going to go fully online. And then they are thinking about probably preventing travel. If you, I don't know if you know this, that even for the visitor visa now, they have a, a high um, refusal rate. Because a good, I used to teach a young man, I, they probably know him. He, I think he was in class with Dave. Um, he, Fabian Brown, he and I are good friends now. Um, and he wants to come up and I said to him, because I used to work at an immigration company in Canada and I told him, do not apply for it. No, they're going to turn it down. Because of the new variant, they don't want people coming into the country. They know that they can't stop permanent residents and citizens from coming in, but they don't want new persons coming in. Because the variant, I think the variant is already here. The only good note about the, um, the, the thing is, and I was watching CNN since night, is that the two, you have three vaccines, pre, three dominant vaccines, only the Johnson and Johnson is not very good against it, but the other two are. And the other thing too is that they, 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 they I think it's Omicron. I think that variant, um, as is reported, is though it is easier, easily transmittable. It is not as it doesn't cause severe symptoms like the like the um, Delta. So they are, you know, people. So 
Canadians are very, they're, they're being very cautious. The government is being very cautious. You know, and we have two types of government here. We have provincial and, and federal, like just like in the Ameri in, like in the United States, you have state government and you have the federal government. So we have a similar system. So I know that they are discouraging people from traveling. And if you are coming, you must be fully vaccinated. And there's some a whole heap of confusion at the airports now. Because I wanted to drive to New York, because New York is just three hours away from where I am. And I said, you know what? Let me just stay. New York is near, Michigan is near, um, like Michigan is another th probably three hours. Three hours here is not a long journey to drive. And I said, no traveling because you don't know when you're, when, if you're coming back across the border, they're going to give you all kind of madness. I have to pay this fine, but no, no more $2,000. The long and short of it. You like it in Canada, sir? I love it in Canada. Awesome. I don't have, one of the things I love, I don't have to think about you know, somebody grabbing my phone or um, I'm home where I live. We live in a basement. I have three other roommates or main door at, up the top. We don't, it's never locked. It's never locked with key. Um, and you don't really think- The thing you have to worry about is the cold. The, yeah, that's really what you worry about. And there, it's not that Canada is crime free. You know, if you go Jane and Finch, you'll see the criminals, the, the African criminals and the Caribbean criminals. But of course, I live like four hours away from those places and I don't go to those places. So I like the fact that I don't have to worry about, you know, feeling unsafe. And I like that. I like that. And I think you're far more productive. Think about it even as women. You finish work and you have to pad up. You have to hide this and you have to be so careful. To the point where you're paranoid, especially downtown. You're so paranoid. You know, it, I, I'm happy I don't have to 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 um to experience that. That that uh, and then of course Canada is a place where you can you can make good money in, in a very short space of time, especially if you have your education. Trust me, you make very, very good money. You'll have to deal with the daily racism though. Jesus. Yeah, polite racism, it is very polite. Right now at my workplace is white. This, this white person, um, he, he sits at the door like when persons are coming in. And one morning, I went to take up two masks. I ended up taking up about five. And he was like, oh, you take up too much. And I was like, okay, I was going to give them back. And he was like, no, 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 no. And he was making one big fuss out of it. So he went to my, I, I, when I left, I saw, and I came back, he was talking to my supervisor about it. Then the following morning, I came up, he was there. And he was like, oh, you want mask? And I said, I said, I don't want any mask. And then the other day I was going into the teacher's room and I saw him looking at me. I'm the only black person on staff. And I saw him looking at me. And I tell myself, if that little frigger ever say anything to me, they might fire me. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you have sir, to delete. <laughs> you, you, sir. No, sir, you have to Merry Christmas here. <laughs> no, but the thing is, no, seriously, <laughs> when you're in a space where your color defines you as criminal, Trust me, it's not a good feeling. True. It's not a, I went into, all right, the other day I went to Walmart and I bought a TV. You know, you're there for I'll try fix up a thing. I bought a 50 inch TV. So how Walmart is set up, you have to pay for the TV at the electronic section. You can't pay for it at the regular cashier. You have to pay for it at the, at the, at, at um, at the, because you know TV over here is not, it's not like Jamaica where TV costs, um, and got, the 50 inch was just strange and something dollars. So I bought the TV, I bought some, some few other items and pushing my trolley, my trolley pack up with a whole heap of stuff. Then I picked up some other items. So those you can, you have to pay for at the cashier, yeah. paid for them. Then I'm coming out. This black lady, you know, come to me, um, receipt, receipt, receipt. Did you pay for this? I was, I got so mad because everybody else is moving freely. She doesn't stop anybody else. The only black, the only person she stops is the black man. I got so livid and I said to myself, Robin Clark, you need to calm down. They will send you home. Because I'm not sure because it may, may realize a very fierce disaster. No, but the thing is, it is it's an insult to somebody who just spent almost a thousand dollars in Walmart. Well indeed. Yes, and you're not stopping any other skin color but your own because it's a black woman who stopped me you now. Because black people too buy into the whole notion that other black people are criminals, you know. They too buy into that, you know. Sad. Yeah, they share that view. I got so upset even some other people came over and said, oh, what's wrong? What's wrong? I'm like, 
why the fuck is she stopping me and asking me she she works here she knows that you have to pay for these things over the electronics you can't pay for it at the cashier mm -hmm. remember 15 inch tv is not a small it's a very big tv it's not it can't even hold in the trolley very good you have to actually holding it and pushing the trolley at the same time to ensure that i got so, so that you have to deal with as a black person every day racism so even if you're walking behind somebody who is white if you're behind somebody who is who is white or even not black they're looking behind them or they stop slow down and allow you to pass the other one day i took a bus and i sat near a white man he just got up from his seat and went across the other side of the bus oh my god yes that you have to deal with and my friend said to me just start just buy a car robin and once you start driving you, you some of those persons you won't come across yeah you won't have to deal with them so so that you have to deal with and that's actually not a very good feeling in having to deal with every day what i call polite racism but canada is fun you should all pack and come soon sir soon. yes all right uh have a good night everybody because i know you have another class at this point in time i'm available via whatsapp do not call just text if all you right, text me sir. i'll respond no call sir? but text yes sir, can i yes. email you my paper yes you can email me the paper Yes, okay. Tashi Green. Go ahead, Tashi. What should I answer, Tashi? Again, about no. Let me see what he's saying. Then. About and can I resend the paper? Which resend? Which paper are you talking about? What paper you're talking about, Tashi? I'm not sure which paper you're talking about. Guys, you can go. All right, sir, enjoy yourself for the Christmas. Fair question here. Yes. I'm listening. What if you pass but wasn't satisfied? All right, sir, take care. Can you? No, once you pass, you can't redo the test. Okay, sir. All right, yeah, man. Bye, sir. sir what's your pass mark, sir? The pass mark is 10. 10 out of 20. 10 out of 20? Yeah, that's 50%. Once you get 50%, you're good. Okay. Mm -hmm, you're good. All right, sir. Take care of yourself. Bye. Yeah, man. Bye. Take care, sir. Enjoy All right. the French heads. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. Um, all right, Tashi, I'll try and look at your paper, all right? Welcome, sir.